JSON is the JavaScript object notation, and it's one of these cases in computer science where things, I think, went more right than wrong in the sense that it's a very simple, very usable uh, standard that is standard. It's used all over the place. And with a very small amount of work, you can become pretty proficient in, in JSON. And what uh, this video is intended to do is to expose you to some tools that you can use to sort of read and understand JSON uh, yourself. So the, the first tool uh, is, you know, Wikipedia. And, uh, you know, it talks about the history and blah, blah, blah. But uh, it gives you an example of JSON. And the, the first thing that you should be able to see is that just looking at it, it, it looks pretty sensible. So it's basically key value pairs. Key value pairs are huge in computer science because they're a really easy way for programmers to think about data, and I guess human beings to think about data. I mean, we are the programmers, are we not? At least for the time being. Um, there are a couple of data types in JSON. There's the object, which is represented by brackets, uh, which are just uh, you know key value pairs. There's arrays, which are represented by square brackets, uh, which are ordered you know lists. And then there's, you know, integer, string, null, I don't know. I don't think floating point is part of it. And then everything else is sort of details. But this is an object, it's got a key, first name, whose value is John, last name, whose value is Smith. All right, make that a little larger. Yeah, so you can, you can, you can see what's going on here. Age is 27, that's an integer, comma, okay. So why do we care about this stuff? You remember our uh, uh, trivia database game? Um, here I have an example of a, uh, an API, a URL API. And here, um, I'll do this real time, type it in, and we get back uh, some JSON. And you know, a lot of times uh, when you are using a new service, maybe you read the documentation. Uh, maybe you don't read the documentation. Maybe you just sort of try some stuff. And when you want to try some stuff, you might find yourself staring at a big piece of JSON like this and wondering, eh, I mean, I can see like response code. I, you know, this looks sort of sensible, but it's not well formatted. So tool number one, the JSON pretty printer. And there are a bunch of these that are free on the web. This one I've just used several times and I like it. So we put in our JSON, we push the make pretty button. And then, you know, what we get is this sort of interactive list where we can say, oh, collapse this object and collapse this object. And what have I got? I've got an object with response code and some results, which is a list of objects. So this makes it very easy for me to understand what it is that I'm dealing with. And then I can see, oh, and this, you know, this, this results has category, you know, does, does this result also have a category? Yeah, this, this, is all, this is kind of the same. Type is Boolean, difficulty is hard, you know? So, uh, can you see this? Okay, I don't know, I don't know what I've done here. Yeah, there we go. This is the print, pretty printed version of it. So this is, this is quite uh, valuable. And you know, if you think this is bad, if we go over to the Reddit API, so here's the, the API and it's, it's like, uh, it's long, there's multiple versions of it. It's kind of complicated. I mean, we're only interested in a couple of calls, like literally I think two, so. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not that bad, but finding out which two took, took me a while. And here's, here's sort of an example of, uh, this is from Reddit. We are fetching the new videos and we're getting it in JSON format and we're only getting 25 of them. So you see this and now you might, you know, you, you might see the need for a pretty printer. <laughs> Cause you're like, what the heck is this? Like you really just, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can parse those, this kind of thing. I, I certainly can't. So I come in here, I say, boom. Okay, that's a bunch of garbage. 
make my garbage pretty. And now you can at least start to get a handle on it. Okay, it, first of all, it's an object. I mean, we could have told that from the first character, but uh, it's a listing. Um, oh, it's got some data in it. Oh, well, now, now we're cooking. I mean, that's, you know, 4,000 lines and well summarized. Okay, well, you know, the actually, there's uh, this data object in there. And, all right, do I care about mod hash? No, after and before, these are the things in a listing actually give you these IDs so that you can do scrolling uh, uh, interfaces. All right, I mean, maybe we care about that, maybe we don't, but already, like, we're making progress in terms of understanding what the JSON is telling us because we have this tool. And without this tool, uh, it's harder, you know. I mean, reading documentation is, it's, it's one of my favorite pastimes, but um, even, even I have my limits. Um, you know, this children is an, is an ordered list. I see, it's not, it's not an object. Anyway, you get the point. So, uh, you know, JSON formatter, you know, find your own, uh, that's, that's fine. And um, uh, dealing with JSON, uh, it's readable by human beings, which is a, a really nice property. You know, it's not the most efficient encoding. Uh, you spend a fair amount of time in programs parsing JSON. So, you know, there, there, there are people bellyache about it, but, you know, compared to something like XML, which is just a, a horror show, uh, JSON is really, is really a pretty nice interchange format. Uh, that's, that's very common, and uh, you'll be using it in your Reddit app and uh, possibly in your project. Thanks.